family, welcome back to the Ebony Odyssey. My name is Jermango Long and I am a servant of the Most High God. I appreciate you for coming along and as always, enjoy the journey. Uh, today, I just wanna speak on something also real quick. Um, the people here, I will tell you, people here have definitely been a blessing. The story of when I first got here is we were here, we, we searched around. I had a friend who uh, I was introduced to. He helped me find this place that I now live in. After that, you know, I was here. I had no vehicle. Uh, I had no way to go to town to get food, things of that nature. Um, so I would keep my door open since I'm a country boy from Mississippi. I just love to keep the door open. I, I keep the gate open, not not door to the house, but the gate. Uh, so, cause it's like a security compound here. Uh, so I keep the gate open. I keep the gate open. People will walk by. Bari, Bari, Zuri, Zuri, Salama. You know, just, you know, we would talk and the niceties and the, you know, the friendliness, just this atmosphere. And one young man, he came by, um, Dula. Uh, he is now my brother. Uh, because of, you know, his love and his, uh, you know, just uh, blessings toward me and my uh, family, you know. Because um, initially my wife and my youngest, they went back home. They got everything taken care of to come back. Uh, and me and my oldest, we stayed here, uh, you know, kind of got things together. Uh, just made it a bachelor pad until they got back. Uh, so... At the end of the day, I kept this gate open, and you know, you know, people would walk by. But Dula, Dula, he stopped, and he was like, "Oh, you know, like, hey, bro, how's everything?" And you know, I was like, "Ah, it's okay. Uh, I'm trying to get things together. We have to go to town to get something to eat because, you know, I'm not familiar with everything, but I know some things I can't eat here, some things I can't eat here. So I have to find places where, you know, the food that I, that we can eat." was good um and, and so it was more so closer to town uh but you know he was like ah bro that's a lot of money to go to town and come back and i was like yeah yeah but you know this is all i got right now i don't have any other way to to get the town so i had to you know get a boda or get a bajaji or you know get a taxi and go and then we get our food we eat we hang around and then we would come back and he was like ah no bro Go tonight, tomorrow, my wife will cook for you. And, you know, you know, it's just something. We cook for people when they die, you know, sometimes. We mourn with you for a second, and then we're on to whatever else we got to do in our life. But, you know, for somebody to just come to extend themselves and to extend his, you know, wonderful wife for me and my son at the time, it was just like, wow, okay, wow. You know, and he came by um, and he, he held true to his word. He, he brought, you know, food and I was like, okay, you know, hey, you know, your wife, you know, cooked this wonderful meal. How about I pay, you know, for food for your family, my family, uh, and, and just, hey, take this money you know, get tons of food, do what you got to do. And, you know, hey, we just want a plate, you know, because I'm thankful. And, you know, many people, you know, I, I don't know if they would be thankful or even accepting or understanding of, you know, what happens. Because I'm here depending on what God is going to do, how God is going to lead me. And... <laughs> I'm sitting here with the door open, trying to be friendly, trying to, you know, engage with the people that's around this area where I'm living. And God sends somebody right in front of here that wanted to engage, that wanted to talk, and then wanted to help, help before asking for anything. And, you know, we've been friends ever since, you know, he, he has to go back and forth to take care of business for his family, but he would come over here uh, some nights. He learned to play dominoes. You know, we would sit here on the porch, we'd play dominoes, we would enjoy ourselves, 
We come over here, we watch some uh, football, soccer, foot, football. Uh, so we would enjoy some of that time. And you know, he would always say, hey bro, I got you, man. Look, my wife has finished cooking. I'm gonna bring the food, no problems. And you know, we did that for maybe a month and a half. I got my car and everything. Uh, and unfortunately, his wife got a little sick, but she's so much better now. So, you know, thank God for that. Uh, but that, that's the kind of experience that I'm talking about. I, I'm looking for, I'm looking for that quantum quality of life. This is why I'm here to try to build as much as I can and do as much as I can because, you know, you don't get that often. You don't get somebody going out of their way to, to take care of you and your family. Um, so that's, you know, that's one of other instances that I've had with people who have just like, oh, no, hey, no. And I've had so many instances of people not letting people take advantage of me. You know, it's like, ah, oh, this is this. No, 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 no. Give him the same price that you would give me. Like, I've had people do that, and it's just been, you know, it's been wonderful. It's been wonderful. You know, you're not going to get out of here unscathed. Uh, some things, I paid too much for eggs a couple of times, but I learned. You know, but, you know, overall, I do feel very thankful for the people that have been around me, the people that have taken care of, you know, me to this point. You know, God has blessed us so many times with faithful people, honest people. And I'm trying to be honest and genuine with them. I'm not trying to take from anybody. I'm just trying to, to give and to live to give and to live that's that's gonna be the motto uh, you know so you know it's just it's so many experiences that I've had here from people just you know even bringing fruit to the house like oh hey we we got this we, we just picked all these bananas we picked all these uh, papayas these mangoes you know hey you know we're gonna give you a couple you know you and your son eat them very thankful. I'm very thankful and very blessed. And I just want you guys to know that it is it is uh, it's refreshing to get out of the the normal everyday rat race of life where you just just going and coming. And you're just going and coming and you're getting ready to die eventually. And so I'm out of that. And I just pray that, you know, you find whatever peace you need to find. Um, I appreciate you for coming along. And as always, enjoy the journey.